Hello and welcome um, to our workshop to, for data management for FIA CMC Corpora. Um, I'm very, very uh, happy to, to welcome you here together with my colleagues, um, ex-colleagues Alex König and Egon Stemde. Um, we three together have like, already a couple of years ago decided to organize this workshop. Uh, since we have been working in CNC Corpora for um, Corpus Creation for quite some time now, and thought this is something where we would actually do something, want to do something for the community. Um, so I've seen in the in the participant list we have quite we're supposed to have quite a diverse uh, audience today, um, with various people from Italy, from Germany but maybe also out, also some registration from other countries in Europe and outside of Europe. Um, so I also hope it's not too early or too late for you. Um, before we really start, I would like to uh, give you some words, some initial words on, on the idea and the motivation for this uh, workshop and some other related things. So, um, why do we actually do this workshop and what's the general idea behind this? Well, with this workshop, we want to actually support people who are in the process of um, collecting CMC data or are planning to collect CMC corpus data. And we want to give some general ideas about common concepts and current best practices in data management in general, but also specific for CMC corpus creation. So that means how to collect, process, administer, and share research data in general. Um, thereby, we would also, as I said, want to point towards some particular um, facts that are interesting in the context of CMC and give you some pointers in where to get help and what to be aware of. Um, another thing is why do we actually do this? Because we actually think that's that's helping the community a lot, but promoting comparability and interoperability between resources and also by promoting data sharing. And especially in those phases um, where we think that there's still something that one can do because we all, uh, all the organizers and the presenters have um, actually experienced in our work while collecting CMC data that it's not always easy to, to actually share data or to make data comparable after you have collected and after you have designed your corpus. Um, another small reason why we personally do this is that we are all kind of involved in the Kundalini Knowledge Center for the CMC Corpora. This is a relatively recent um, consortium of institutions in, in Europe that just came together to commit themselves to um, also to support uh, researchers interested in, in um, collecting CMC data and to find CMC data and tools uh, that can work with CMC data. Um, one of our actual activities in the Plugin Knowledge Center is also that we want to like not only be available if you have questions and approaches via mail and so on, but we also want to do like actively uh, contribute by organizing events like this, training activities for young researchers or for other researchers that want to get into this field. Um, for this reason, we uh, have invited today at this um, workshop for experts that are going to talk about different aspects of CMC corpus um, creation. And um, these experts, they will also talk, like they will talk relatively shortly. Um, you see here five people on the, on the board. Um, each of them will have like a slot of 30 minutes uh, to present and a couple of minutes for questions and answers later. But be aware that all these topics that they talk about and like the, the things that they say in their presentations are usually like 
they know a lot about your, uh, their topics and the things are usually not all what they know about. So these people are very knowledgeable about, about, um, about the individual four topics. So please don't hesitate to actually ask them questions um, after their talk or in the question and answer sessions. Um, if there are any upcoming things during the presentations that are not quite clear to you, or maybe if you have some questions that relate to your own work uh, or where you would like to like go a little bit more profound, because I'm sure these experts can help you a lot. Um, some words about the program. Um, if you have remembered the program from some days ago, you might um, have seen that there were actually for today's morning session, two talks planned by Inge Slobohoff. Um, she is from the Research Data Management Office in Nijmegen, where the CMC Corpora Conference is supposed to take place um, tomorrow and day after tomorrow. But she unfortunately had to cancel relatively shorthand for personal reasons. So we are now very happy that we found um, with Pavel Kabotsky a good replacement for her to talk about uh, intellectual property rights and legal issues with CMC Corpora. Um, so today's morning session will start um, after these few welcoming words with Egon Stemmler talking about CMC data uh, management in general and the fair guiding principles for data stewardship. And then Pavel Kamotsky with a talk on intellectual property rights and legal issues with CMC Corpora. And then we will go into this um, longer question and answer and discussion session till 12. Um, in the afternoon, then, we will have the talks from Harald Lingen and Michael Weiswenger on, on data formats and standards for interoperable CMC corpora. Um, and Alexander Koenig um, with an introduction into metadata and language data repositories. And again, the session will be followed by a short question and answer and discussion round. Um, then, if you allow me a few more words about Klarin, because I've named that word by now a couple of times, and I'm not sure if all of you are aware of what Klarin actually means or is. I'm sure some of you, as I see in the participants, are. But just in case, um, Klarin stands for Common Language Resources and Technology Infrastructure. And as the name suggests, it's actually. Um, it's actually like a digital research infrastructure that is aimed particularly for the humanities and social sciences and aims to provide digital language data and in written, spoken, or multimodal form. Glavin has been like um, designed and made real by the European Research Infrastructures Consortium, which is a federated system where like European countries can become members and then they commit um, and contribute to creating this kind of vision of creating this digital research infrastructure where all European member states can um, like have access to research data and to tools for research data with a single sign on um, system. So essentially, if you are a member of one of the member states, that means that you can, um, with your institute, many times with your institutional account without creating any other account or registering or anything, like log in into this digital research infrastructure and see what kind of resources they have there. If there's something interesting for you um, in terms of data or also in terms of tools to work with CMC Corpora. This is something, I guess, for young researchers, quite, quite interesting. I would also like to point you to this CMC um, corpora list that they have created. It's essentially just like an indexed list of um, CMC resources out there. So if you're searching for data, just have a look at this if you have data. Um, Larin is also meant to be actually an ecosystem for knowledge sharing. So, it's meant to not also use the data for, for members to not also use the data passively that is there in the re 
infrastructure, but also to deposit your own data and tools if you if you have some and thereby contribute and share your work and your experiences with other researchers in Europe. 